So hi everyone and I am Gua Felicine. My brand names are Benadryl Expeteran, Guianed, Rubitacine, Bena Expeteran, Flemonex, Muxinex, Rightmedguafenacine, and Soprikov. My chemical name is... Classification. Therapeutic is guafenicine enhances the output of respiratory tract fluids by reducing the adhesiveness and surface tension of these fluids, allowing easier movement of the less vicious secretions. The result of this thinning of secretion is more productive cough and thus decreased frequency of coughing. Now for the pharmacologic effect, guafenicine is categorized as an expectorant that acts by enhancing the output of phlegm or sputum and the bronchial secretions via decreasing the adhesiveness and surface tension of such material. Furthermore, guafenicine elicits an increased flow of less vicious gastric secretions that subsequently promote ciliary action. All the actions that ultimately change dry and productive coughing to coughs that are more productive and less frequent. The pregnancy category is category C. <laughs> Mechanism of action. Although the exact mechanism of action of guafenicine may not be formally or totally elucidated, it is believed, though, that expectorants like guafenicine functions by increasing mucosecretion. Moreover, it is also further proposed that such expectorants may also act as irritant to gastric vagal receptors and recruit efferent parasympathetic reflexes that may elicit glandular exocytosis that is compromised of a less vicious mucus mixture. Subsequently, these actions may provoke coughing that can ultimately flush difficult to access congealed mucopurulent material from obstructed small airways to facilitate temporary improvement for the individual. Consequently, while it is generally proposed that guafenicine function as an expectorant by helping to loosen phlegm or mucus and then bronchial secretions to rid the bronchial passages of bothersome mucus and make coughs more productive. There has also been research to suggest that guafenicine possesses and is capable of demonstrating anticonvulsant and muscle relaxant effects to some degree possible by acting as an NMDA receptor antagonist. Now for the pharmacokinetics. For the absorption, studies have shown that guafenicine is well absorbed from and along the gastrointestinal tract after oral administration. For the distribution, the geometric mean apparent volume of distribution of guafenicine determined in healthy adult subject is 116 liter or CV equals to 45.7%. The <laughs> is unknown and the excretion is after administration, guafenicine is metabolized and then largely excreted in the urine. The half-life in plasma observed for guafenicine is approximately one hour. The indication is asymptomatic relief of respiratory conditions characterized by a dry, non-productive cough including the common cold, acute bronchitis, and influenza. For the contraindications, it is a known allergy to the drug to prevent hypersensitivity reaction. Use with caution in pregnancy and lactation because of the potential for adverse effect on the fetus or the baby. And it is also used with caution in patients with persistent coughs which could be indicative of underlying medical problems. <laughs> I have a side of the adverse effects. First, 
Uh, I can cause an endocrine disorder, which is hyperuricemia. GI disorder, which is abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, and nausea. And also, I can affect to your nervous system, which is dizziness, drowsiness, and headache. And also, um, for your skin and subcutaneous tissue, I can cause rash. And for the nursing implementation, you have to caution the patient not to use me for longer than one week and to seek a medical attention if the cough persists after that time. And you have to advise the patient to take a small and frequent meals. Advise patient to avoid driving and or performing a dangerous tasks if dizziness and drowsiness occur. And you have also to alert the patient that I may be found in OTC or over-the-counter preparations and can cause and you have uh, to give a care that should be taken to avoid an excessive doses. And lastly, you have to provide a patient teaching.